Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Welcome to Germany, where it's way too hot, where I cannot find a good spot and many more things. So right now I am at a yeah, wind park or at least at one of, one of the windmills, so we can always see the shade basically going behind me. It was actually faster just a few seconds ago, but now it has braked and I think they yeah, shut down this one. But what do I mean with it's too hot? Well, it is like 29 degrees. I was going in the car, it said like 61 interior temperature. So it wasted a lot of battery on cooling down the car, which is really like one of the things where I say like, okay, that would be good if you have like electricity at home to use that electricity to cool down the car instead of using the battery. Same, of course, in the winter to heat up the car. Well, yes, so I was planning to go here to this spot to make my video where I will be talking about how much I have to pay for the car in total, what I predict are my monthly costs and so on and so on. And it would have been really cool to like place the car right here and then talk in front of the car. Of course, I always have to figure out like where do I place the camera because I actually want to place it and not always hold it like I'm doing a vlog. Yeah, you can see there's not really any at least position that gives me a leverage. So now why is the car not here? Well, the car is right there if you can see it. The problem is that this road right here to this wind park is just so bad maintained and I can show you like I don't really want to go in the sun because it's so hot and I probably get a sunburn so easily so I don't really want to waste too much time in the sun but yeah you cannot really see it so you have a lot of very unfortunate holes of course you can go through there and it's not like that I would not dare to drive through there but I was just like that's not worth it right now because I could ch choose a different spot and it's not like that I have to do the video right now but maybe I still do it without the car because I still like the scenery just in this direction so it's still a nice shot and also up there like further up there the, the, the bumps are worse and also filled up with water and I don't want to make my car dirty. <laughs> so maybe it's supposed to rain to, tonight tomorrow with some thunderstorm so I'm here and I actually think it's pretty cool to see like that the, the sun is blocked off by the windmill and it's slowing down further and further. So yeah, well, what can I tell you? Yesterday in the trip, I finished the trip at, I think like nearly 11 p.m. I think I was home at half past 10 and I was so tired. The craziest thing is actually like I was laying in my bed and then trying to sleep and my, I think it was my head was telling me like, I am still in the autopilot. So it felt like left, right, acceleration, braking, acceleration, braking, left, right. Like my body was not, I, I don't think that my body was really moving, but at least my head was sending signals that my body should move, like because I'm doing curves or braking or accelerating. So it was wild because I never had such a feeling. But yeah, after 2,100 kilometers of driving in two days, I think it's not too worrying it was just a crazy experience and now I wonder why do I have put my bag in the sun or did the shade already move I don't know I also have something to eat with me because I didn't really have any lunch it is already 3 p.m. right now I was doing like a chill day actually I was thinking like okay I'm going home my family we're gonna do things we're gonna talk a lot well I arrived at 11 as I already said and my family is working so I was at home feeling like oh now I'm here in Germany and I do nothing so maybe like I will definitely chill here for the next few hours until they are coming back from work but until then I have like I think I will record the video and I will also do cutting of the other video but I just don't know where to sit ah I don't want to sit on the ground but maybe I do but maybe not questions over questions that is everything for today for tomorrow I also have to figure out if they are working but I guess they are so maybe I will just drive somewhere different ah no I know what I'm going to do tomorrow I will go to the place where all my stuff is stored that I basically put there before I went to Sweden in November of last year and I really have to go through the things and already start thinking what I can take with me to Sweden 
so that I have time for other things later in the week when I'm really planning to go back already. So it's, it makes sense to do it earlier than later. But why is there another windmill? Why didn't I... Maybe I... Uh, the sun is good, but I have to check out this one. Why did... How did I pass that one? <laughs> okay, questions over questions. But this is the current day. I don't really think there's too much left to say. One weird thing that happened that I saw this morning was when I checked my YouTube statistics, I saw that the video, the reaction for the song from Jerry Hale, there was no thumbnail there. And I have placed all the thumbnails and also the other videos that I have pre-recorded, every thumbnail that I uploaded was gone. So I uploaded it again this morning, it disappeared again, and then I did it again and now I think it's hopefully stuck there. I don't know what type of bug that is, but it annoyed me a bit. Realizing this morning like that the video really had just a weird image of me doing a weird movement. Oh yeah, okay. I think I'm only talking weird things right now. So it's time to say goodbye for this day. I hope you had a wonderful day. And we're going to see each other back in tomorrow's video. No idea where, no idea when, but it will happen. So have a good one. Bye bye. And another shot of the windmill.